गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल अगेन क्लास रूम नोट्स बाई रेखा जैन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द फर्स्ट चैप्टर द पोर्ट्रेट ऑफ ए लेडी इन इट्स समराइज फॉर्म द ऑथर ऑफ द चैप्टर इज खुशवंत सिंह ओके लेट स्टार्ट हेयर इन दिस चैप्टर द ऑथर टॉक्स अबाउट द पोर्ट्रेट ऑफ इज ग्रैंड फादर इन द बिगनिंग विच हंग अब द मेंटल पीस एंड his grey beard was very long and he wore a turban he seemed to be having lots and lots of grandchildren only this much he tells about his grandfather and the rest part of the chapter is dedicated to his grandmother so uh, as far as he start telling about his grandmother in in the beginning he tells that uh, she was very old and he could never accept of her being ever young or playing like children because she was very old and author because author had been looking her as old as she was then for the last 20 years and that is why that was registered in his memory although her face was a criss cross of wrinkles that means thickly covered with wrinkles and she had a stoop on her back just like a camel that is why she couldn't walk properly that's why dear student she could only ovel and all the time she could be seen counting the beads of the rosary and this tells her religious nature and while counting the beads of the rosary she would also recite the hymns in the prayer of god author says though her voice was not so melodious it was very monotonous that means boring but he loved her voice and she recited in the hope that he would memorize but no he never memorized and author tells her uh, inner beauty though outwardly she was not pretty so author says her silver locks that means her gray hair scattered around her forehead and she used to be in a spotless white sari author loved her and because of her inner beauty he described her as a winter mountain landscape breathing peace and contentment that means she was not like dissatisfied modern man as his parents shifted in the city because they were not comfortably settled there so author and grandma stayed in the village now both passed their golden moments in the company of each other and during this time they became very good friend very good friends grandma would prepare for him for the school and plaster his wooden slate with yellow chalk wooden slate that that is a that that's a type of board wooden board which is plastered with yellow chalk and then written with uh, ink then she would wrap the earthen ink pot in a paper because that was this is an incident of very old days having done the breakfast of steel chapatis spread with butter and sugar they both would proceed to the school and when he would study in the school she would pass her time in the adjacent temple which was very close to the school and she would keep pass her time in reading the scriptures see uh, students how uh, active was she and then both would come back and when they would come back on their way back uh, she would feed the dogs with the steel chapatis and uh, if the dogs would fight among each other she would shoo them she would separate them with the help of a stick and then later at home she would also help her grandson in his work then came a turning point in the friendship because parents called for them here was the drastic change in the lifestyle because while going to the school he availed the school transport and the medium of education was english that is why grandmother could not accompany him any more 
and could not assist him in his homework. Moreover, the introduction of science, maths, brought a distance in their relationship, and music disappointed her a lot. Because she was a traditional lady, she thought that music was the monopoly of uneducated and uncivilized class. Monopoly means here sole right. Later. when he grew up and went to university the only source of their closeness their friendship was removed and that was the room the he had to because he had to concentrate more on the studies room was separated now she accepted this seclusion without any complaint and she switched over to spinning the wheel and feeding the sparrows as you can see here in the pic spinning the wheel old ladies in olden times used to do this and the, uh, uh, these were the three modes of passing the time by her one was spinning the wheel second was feeding the sparrows and third was reciting the prayers and when author went abroad for her studies she was there at railway stations to see him off she was so strong character and while uh, boarding the train uh, she, when he was boarding the train she kissed him on his uh, forehead this was the moist imprint which he cherished but he thought that that would would be the last physical contact no he was wrong in his thinking because after 5 years when he came back she was again there at the railway station to receive him and she was so excited that she invited the neighborhood women to celebrate the home coming of her grandson and moreover she recited the songs and thumbed the sagging skin of the dilapidated drum sagging here means loose skin and dear students it was the first time she switched over to her uh, switched over from her routine that that means she didn't pray to god she didn't uh, she didn't count the beads of the rosary rather she just entertained herself and others because she wanted to celebrate the arrival of her grandson in this process she overtired herself overstrained that means overtired herself now she fell ill now doctor in spite of the doctor's advice to take rest she didn't obey because she was uh, very religious uh, she un understood that her end was near she had an intuition that means she had a feeling in advance that she uh, was going to die and she was true in her intuition she died now as per the custom her body which was wrapped in a red cloth was put on the floor and when all the other family members were busy doing preparations for the cremation uh, her body was kept alone inside the room and uh, morning uh, sun rays covered the body giving it a beautiful look and uh, countless sparrows came in the room and grand uh, author's mother thought that they had come they had come for the bread and that is why she threw some crumbs she spread cr uh, some crumbs there but to everyone's shock the sparrows didn't even touch them and they had to be swept after when the body was taken for cremation now see students uh, the spirit of the birds that they had come there to condole over the death that means to show their grief so dear student this was all in today's video hope you must have understood this part we'll meet again with some more exercises of the chapter till then bye bye